most mornings in HVAC start the same way. Get in your truck, you turn the key, you look at the schedule, and before you even reach the first call, you're already deciding what kind of day is going to be. Some mornings you think, here we go again, another long day, another problem. Other mornings may not often you think, let's see what today teaches me. Let's see what opportunity shows up. And right there, in that quiet moment behind the steering wheel, the direction of your entire career is being shaped. Because today, I want to tell you something most people in HVAC never stop to think about. Something simple, something powerful, something that quietly determines who stays stuck and who rises. Here it is. We become what we think about most of the time. That is the strangest secret in HVAC. HVAC is a physical trade. We carry tools, we climb ladders, we sweat, we freeze, we crawl into attics and stand on rooftops. Because of that, most people believe success in HVAC is purely physical but it's not. Two technicians walk into the same house, same broken system, same customers, same equipment. One walks out frustrated, underpaid, exhausted. The other walks out confident, respected, and growing. What changed? Not the unit, the thinking. Your thoughts are invisible, but they control how you talk to customers, how you price work, how you respond to stress, whether you grow or plateau. Most technicians don't fail because they lack skill. They fail because they never upgrade the way they think. Let's be honest. The HVAC industry is full of good people who are quietly frustrated they say things like, I've been doing this for 15 years and still feel behind. I make good money, but have nothing to show for it. I work harder than everybody, but still I'm stuck. And here's the hard truth. They didn't plan to get stuck. They just never planned not to. They went to work every day, they solved problems, they got paid, but they never decided who they wanted to become, what kind of career they were building. What HVAC was supposed to lead to, so they drifted. And drifting feels like motion, but it isn't progress. 
There is a moment in every successful HVAC professional's career when something clicks. It, it usually is not dramatic, no fireworks, no applause. It's a quiet realization. It sounds like this. There has to be more than this. I can do better. I can build something. That moment is dangerous in a good way because once you see that HVAC can be a career, a business, a wealth building tool, a legacy. You can't unsee it. And from that moment on, every call becomes different. Every decision carries weight. Every dollar has a purpose. You stop asking how do I survive? And you start asking, how do I build? Here's something most people never hear. People without goals work very hard. People with goals work very deliberately. In HVAC, the technician without a goal takes whatever comes, charges whatever feels safe, reacts to every problem emotionally. The technician with a goal chooses training intentionally prices with confidence, sees obstacles as part of the plan. Goals are not wishes. Goals are decisions. And the moment you decide, I will master diagnostics. I will build a maintenance base. I will own my schedule. I will invest my HVAC income. Your brain start filtering information differently. You notice opportunities you used to ignore. You hear advice you used to dismiss. You stop wasting time. Not because someone forced you to, but because your mind now has direction. Every HVAC truck is a rolling classroom. Every callback is a lesson. Every mistake is tuition. Every difficult customer is a communication class. The difference between average and exceptional is not mistakes, it's reflection. The average tech asks, why does this always happen to me? The growing tech asks, what can I do to learn from this? The business owner who asks, how can I systemize this so it doesn't happen again? HVAC doesn't punish mistakes. It punishes ignoring lessons. Most people overestimate what they can do in 30 days and underestimate 
what they can do in five years. Success in HVAC doesn't come from one big job, one viral moment, one lucky break. It comes from small improvements, repeated daily for years. So reading one book won't change your life. Reading consistently will. Raising prices won't build a business. Learning to communicate value will. The technician and owners you admire, they didn't do anything uh, magical. They just stay consistent longer than most. So here it is, plain and simple. The strangest secret in HVAC is this. If you think like someone who is trapped, you will act trapped. If you think like someone building something bigger, your actions will follow. Your thoughts create your habits. Your habits create your career. Your career creates your life. The next service call you go on does not just work. It's practice for who you're becoming. The next decision you make that's not small is a vote for your future. Because whether you realize it or not, you are already becoming what you think about most. The only question is, is it by design or by default. Thanks for watching or thanks for listening. WWH back.